Williams. Our first movie is Carlito's Way, and this is another hard-boiled, colorful look at the criminal way of life by director Brian De Palma and actor Al Pacino, who collaborated on the unforgettable Scarface ten years ago. This time, Pacino plays Carlito Briganti, a big man in New York drug circles, until he goes to prison and loses touch with the street. Freed after five years of a 30-year term, Carlito plays his hearing like an acceptance speech at an award ceremony. Completely rehabilitated, reinvigorated, reassimilated, and finally going to be relocated. And I want to thank a lot of people for that. When he comes out again, he wants to go straight. He keeps his nose clean while becoming a partner in a nightclub, hoping to make enough money to move to the Bahamas and open a legitimate business. Charles, please, you can't do this. Benny Blanco spends a lot of money here. Ah, oh, he's a nickel bag. Come on. What happened to you? What are you acting like this for? It doesn't make sense you should hit this guy, because this guy is you 20 years ago. Never me. Never me. Carlito's lawyer in the film is played in a brilliant performance by Sean Penn, who is almost unrecognizable here as a man who has crossed over the line from the law into crime. I'm in an impossible situation here. Once I get Tony on the shore, there's a distinct possibility that he and his Goomba, son, I've got some plans for me. This is Sean Penn's first movie role in three years and another reminder of how good an actor he really is. The movie also co-stars Penelope Ann Miller as Carlito's girlfriend, who never quite understands all of the trouble he's in. He can, um, bust the chain. Trees me around the apartment. In his movie, The Untouchables, De Palma stays a shootout in Chicago's Union Station. This time, it's the turn of New York's Grand Central Station as mobsters chase Carlito looking for revenge. Way is a big, smart, energetic film that seems to know a lot about the world of New York's professional criminals. The film is narrated by Pacino as Carlito, and he tells us what he's thinking as he negotiates his way through the minefields of enemies and former friends. His attempt to go straight as a counterpoint in Sean Penn's lawyer, who gets mired in cocaine and double crosses himself into a lot of trouble. Pacino gives an interesting performance, aggressive but also thoughtful and a little sad. Now, there are times when his accent owes more to his character in Sin of a Woman than to a Puerto Rican gangster, <laughs> but, you know, that didn't bother me, and I really got absorbed in this movie. I only got absorbed at the end in the uh, chase in uh, Grand Central Station, uh -huh. which is very well done, and it's something that Brian De Palma knows how to do very, very well. But before that, I must say, I had the same kind of objections I had to Scarface, uh, which was that it was about a character that I really wasn't interested in because of the, the movie uh, makes his behavior... Uh, heroic in a way that I didn't think it deserved. It wasn't heroic, Gene. He's just a guy who used to be a criminal and now he doesn't want to be a criminal yep. anymore and it shows how difficult that is for him because all of his connections are with the wrong people. I'm talking about the look and style of the film. It the terrific no, no, look, no, 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 no. great no, no. style. I'm talking about the way that it tends to romance the scuzzy behavior in the beginning, uh, in, the, in, in the courtroom scene at the beginning, in early violent action in the bar. I have another problem, that the relationship with the girlfriend, a real hackneyed character of the woman who wants to be a dancer on Broadway but has to work in a strip Now, what club. about Sean Penn? Well, I will tell you this. What? Uh, his performance is good because yes. I did not recognize him. No. I didn't recognize him no, at all. And he's very convinced. But the point... But the character, again, I thought was way the over the top. The character was right on the mark. Way over the right top. Right on the mark. Way over the top. I didn't believe it for a second that the lawyer would be you that are, ridiculous. You, I don't know it what it laughable. is about. There's something in combination of De Palma and Pacino that just turns you off. I don't know what no, it is. It, it's a, actually, it's more uh, De Palma than it is Pacino when they're working in these two films. I've liked other work by both of them a lot of the times.